name's Michelle Burton, and I'd like to show you a dance I choreographed called Zenyatta's Waltz. Z-E-N-Y-A-T-T-A. -T -T -A. Zenyatta is the name of a thoroughbred racehorse who won the Breeders' Cup in 2009. The dance is a waltz, 48 counts, two wall, intermediate level, and it's using some very basic waltz patterns. The music that I chose here is by Diane Birch, and it's called Fire Escape. There are a couple different versions of Fire Escape. There's one, the one I downloaded from iTunes says Fire Escape, and then in parentheses, iTunes Sessions EP. I also believe the song's on her Bible Belt CD, and that's, um, I think it's the same song, it just has um, some more vocals towards the beginning. So either one of those works. Because the dance does incorporate basic waltz patterns, I'd also encourage you to um, choose any other waltz music that you like. A couple suggestions might be Open Arms by Colin Ray, or Somebody Loves You by Scooter Lee. I'm going to walk through the dance, show you the steps, and then we'll do it to some music. We'll start with the wall spots. One, two, three, four, five, a whisk. One, two, three, four, chasse. Cross, quarter, forward, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Cross, quarter, back with a balance. Cross, forward, half with a balance. Couple twinkles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And we begin again. No tags or restarts in this one. So let's walk through the steps. Let's begin with a, a traditional box. Weights on the right, striding forward on the left on one, side right two, close the left in slightly back on three. Step back on the right on four, side left with the left foot on five, and slightly forward on the right foot on six, addressing the uh, slightly the left diagonal. That's your box. The second set of six starts with a whisk. It looks like this. One, two, three. Then four, five, and six. Now let's talk about the whisk for a minute. We're stepping off to the um, slight left diagonal on one with the left foot. On two, we're stepping slightly, say in an eighth. And on three, you're hooking that left foot in behind the right. And you can notice that my body sunk down a little bit. The knees are bent. The weight is all on the left foot. So the look on that is to give you that down feeling on three. An option to the whisk would be a forward rock return. A little easier option if you've never done a whisk um, and the weight is on that left foot. But the whisk is, a char is characteristic in the waltz, so um, give it a try. We step forward for one, two, three. And just again to remember that's a tight hook and a little bit of a sink. The shoulders are addressed at the quarter wall. Don't let them rotate over here. That's what they'll have the tendency to do when you finish your whisk. But pull that right shoulder back. Now step forward on four to that left diagonal. Five and six is a chasse directly to your left. Five and six. That right shoulder is still pulled back. The chasse, you want to keep nice and low to the floor. No, you know, raising and bouncing allowed here. So it's one, two, three, pull it back. Four, five, and six. Now you can address your left angle with a rock one, return two, quarter three. Turn on the ball of that left foot, makes that quarter easy. One, two, three. The three is a preparation. You're still, you've pulled that right shoulder back. We're going to do a step, turn, step, which is a spiral turn. Step forward on the left, you're going to turn right, five, step forward on the right on six. The turn is a full turn, it turns right, and you're turning on the ball of the left foot. You, you set it up on count three. One, two, set up on three. Now you've got to take a step forward, four, 
five, six. Work on that a little bit. I think you'll find that it feels pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do a forward and a back balance. Weight's on the right foot, so we just step forward. One, small step, forward two, just come back to the left foot on three. Step back on the right for four, small step back on five on the left, and return the weight to the right on six. On the balances, there's a couple more balances in the dance. Um, you want to actually make them feel like you're balancing and not doing a rock return, okay? The next set of six, cross quarterback for the back balance. Now, quarter, uh, crosses. Whenever we're going to cross, we really mean, I really mean, step forward on a diagonal because I want you to move forward. I don't want you to be stationary. I don't want you to lock yourself up. So, weights on the right foot, step to the forward diagonal for one. Quarter two, step back on the left foot on three. A back balance, stepping back on the right, four, left, right, five, six. Forward half turn, back balance. One, two, three, four, five, six. All weight changes. Two twinkles. First you're addressed the right diagonal, then the left diagonal. With the left foot, we go forward right diagonal for one, step side right on two, and bring that left foot slightly forward to address the left diagonal on three. Forward, right forward left diagonal with the right foot for four, step the left foot to the side for five, and slightly address the right diagonal with the right foot on six. Now here's a way that you can stylize that twinkle a bit. One, two, and on three, bring the left toe in and then bring it slightly forward. Just a little style, but you only got one count to do it, but it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Four, five, six. And I bet a lot of you already do that on the dance floor. Last six counts. Forward left diagonal for one, side two, quarter three, stepping back on the left foot. Continuing over the left shoulder, you're going to step back first for four, quarter five, forward on the right for six. One more time. Cross, side, back, back, quarter, forward. Now if you don't make it directly forward uh, by count six, no worries, because you have the beginning of the dance, which is the box, to square yourself up. Let's get it a go with the music. See what you think. The dance is called Zenyatta's Waltz, and the music I'm using right here is Fire Escape by Diane Birch. Goodbye. I'm seeing you when the lights go. It's a beautiful song. And the beat will kick in more and more as the song goes on.